All right, guys, uh, Sam here with you. A good day to all. It's Thursday, May 3rd, and we're well, mid-morning. We've done our polling, as we do every day amongst the members, to uh, determine what we'll analyze in video. And today, our, first up, we have Verge, XVG to Bitcoin. Now, I've got this up here. This is I, from the last video that I did. And sometimes I think this is um, you know, kind of a, a, a good idea. This is not so much to blow my own horn, per se, relative to a, tr to a trade call. Th that's really not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to show you how the market reacts and sort of, I guess, maybe validate this methodology. So uh, when, we, when we last did this analysis, we were, we were, we were right here. All right, and you can go back and look at that video if you're if you're curious. We were working off a technical pivot here, and it looked like we had a motive wave, so we had a, a leading diagonal coming into this one wave, and the projection was that uh, the next opportunity would be at the 50. All right, so you can see here's how we had it. We, now it took a little bit longer here. I am on a on a 15 minute, but so the entry was here for the C on a front run of the 50. Right, so there was the trade just as we laid it out in that video market cooperates rather nicely, goes just far enough through the 50 to give us a fill. And now we've gone up and we've hit first now and second target. So as we evaluate it now, looking looking forward and saying, okay, well, we're in that trade. So I know some members have taken some partial profits here. Our target is up here for a third. So let, let's let's reorient here now with this with this established as as our two. So now looking at that, we know we have this target. So of course, if you watch my videos, you know why that would be a target up here. So this, if, if we're going into a full-blown Elliott count, right? And it's kind of hard to argue with it at this point here that our, our logical target here, our, our highest probability, that's a better way to say it, highest probability zone is up here at the negative 100, which will be very close to the 1618, most common target for a wave three on the assumption that I've got a good one in. I've now done my three wave, I guess we'll tighten that up. I've now done my three wave second, yeah, right to the 50, right where we look for it. And then we've had the, the impulsive movement coming off of that. So, so since I've got this established here, you know this is my target. I'm gonna take this off just to get it out of the way. So he, here's our longer term target. So along the way here, we can, you know, evaluate how the technical trading has been here. Again, it, it, this is this is nothing more than documentation of, of the methodology here that I'm teaching you. So what what do we see? What's the first thing that happens? Right. So for, from our swing low, from our pivot, we go up, we come back right to the golden zone, right to target. So there there you go. So algos are having a field day. That, so they've hit multiple targets along the way. So we've had this one, that, that hit. Now we have the second, that's hit. So boom, boom. Now we now, that now if we're thinking third, right? So if we're trying to get a third, so it looks like this this may just be a one two. So it looks like we may have one two three deep four. We go up for a five. That sure looks like an A and then a three wave B. We're going down for the C. So doing exactly what we would do with any any LA account like this, where we think we might have a a completed five wave. Well, next opportunity is at the 50. What have we done? We've come right to the 50 and just a couple of ticks shy of it. We're right into this, this low volume node here. Do you see this over here on the side? See how we come to this low volume node where we don't have market acceptance? All right, so the market is either going to rip through it or it's going to bounce there. So market has not agreed that we don't have agreement. We don't have settlement here. So at these peaks, so here's our, our point of control. Right, so here's where we have the highest amount of trading volume, right? Right at this price here at, what is that, 769 sats? So possibly here now, so could that be a three? Well, we got, we got to look at it. So just measuring, well, we know we know it's going to be over 100%, right? So that we've, we've, gone, we've gone beyond the length of the one, one wave. So it's a contender here as a third. So this is possible, certainly possible. So, but we also, the other possibility here is that we've got one, two, and now we're going into another one, two before going much higher. You know, that, that, that's a bit of a leap where that, that, I don't know that we've got uh, that much, we've got much, that much in this move here, but if this holds, that's not unreasonable because now we qualify it. So here's where we get, in, it's a little nuance here. So the fact that we've go, gone from swing low to swing high and we've come back and we've tapped the 50. That's a contender now for a second or a fourth. So what, what can we do to help with that? Let me, let me get rid of that. Let's go, let me get a different template up here. 
let's get um, let me get this here. So we'll look here at things that you're used to seeing. So, he, he, so if we if we look here, so clearly this is some sort of impulse here. It looks like this is our peak, so that would imply three, four, five. Right? We get a little divergence there. So. You know, I mean, is that our one, two? I mean, it's, it's not great. So let, let's, we're, I'm, I'm on a very short time frame. Let's let's go out to an hourly and look at this. Well, you know, now, now as you look at that, think about where we could be going. Let's move all of this off because we, we don't want to be absolute about where that could be. So we have we have this contender here for this, this if that were to play as a one, two. So we'd have, it's, it's a possibility here that we have one, two, one, two, since we've come to the 50. That would imply that the, the, in the in the county <clears throat> here we'd be doing this. So all of this would move up to a larger degree. So we'd be looking at oops, be looking at that as a contender. So let me <clears throat> put this in a smaller smaller degree here, so this makes sense. Okay, so possibility here we've got one two. I guess we can get that wave off of there and just clean the chart up a little bit. All right, one, two, one, two. Well, that's certainly a contender, right? No reason to think otherwise. So we can we can zoom in a little bit on this as we have, <clears throat> it almost looks like we've got some symmetry here. I know this is slightly longer here. So you, you have to evaluate that. It, there's, there's always the possibility here that we that a one, two, one, two, we, I mean, we, we, we could have an ABC, you know, you just, you can't, you can't eliminate that possibility yet completely until we see if we get a kick coming out of this, are we going to get passed through this high? Here's algo targets. Are we going up to some of these additional targets? Well, this certainly has the appearance of a corrective wave. So from here, this would appear to be A, then I've got my nice three wave into my B, and then I'm coming down here, perhaps that's my C in some sort of a diagonal. And we we don't know that this is done here, but we're at it. We're just at we're at a technical pivot. So possibility here that I've got a one two. Well, if that's a one two, I want to consider the median lines. So there's a contender. So this course is just screaming at us. If if we can get some traction. So here, do we get it here? Right. There's always this, the time component here. Do we are we getting it here? If we're getting it right. So the for the first assumption is that this pivot must hold, right, for that, to, for that to be in effect, right? So we don't know that that holds, but we're coming down here, it looks like they may retest it, and this could go deeper, right? We could go down. Now, take note here, this is why this is important and kind of interesting. If this is gonna go into an impulse wave, we've gotta pay attention to the one wave. So if this is, so we've got a diagonal here in the one, <clears throat> right, so per Elliott, rule set here, we've got a leading diagonal in the one that plays out very nicely. So here's our ABC into our two, right? So here was the last where we entered the market and that last analysis. Well, if this is going to go, if, if this is going to go into a one, two, well, if this is a two, now we, we can overlap here because it won't, it, it's not relevant. It's only relevant in terms of this being a one, this being a two. So if, if we go down here and we overlap the one and we go to the 618, Right, that doesn't invalidate this count because the assumption is this is one two of the third relative to this one two. So this overlap here wouldn't matter to us. It would only matter to us if this is one two three and we're putting in the four now. So the fact that we don't overlap it keeps this alive as either either we've got a one two and we've just put in the two here before we go substantially higher. So this is the more bullish interpretation. Now, one thing we can do <clears throat> right off the bat, so let me take this off because we, I'm <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> God, I need a mute on this mic. Okay, so let, let, let's look at a couple of things. So clearly this is a place where we'd wanna look for some market geometry. So just working from that. You know, I mean, it looks like we've got, so we, we, we've clustered around the median line. We, we're, we're, now, we're now back down here at our lower parallel. So if this is gonna hold, the, the expectation is that we're going minimum to here minimum. So that that's our so this remember algo does not care about the Elliott count. It's just looking at swings, right? Swing low, swing high, here's a 50, they buy it. Now, can they hold it? Well, it remains to be seen. But there's some effort here. You can see there there has been a reaction at the 50 as you can pretty much count on for any 50 relative to any any uh, significant swings as we have here. Now, 
you know, it's, too, it's really too soon to call this, right? So this is a little, this is a little wonky here. So let me pull this out. So the, the size of that kick and then falling over makes me want to check that. So I would look here, swing high to swing low. Interesting, right? So right, it should be no surprise. Where do we swing low? Sw swing high. I'm coming to this low. Here's where I get this big kick. What do we do? Well, that would appear, it looks like somebody wanted a fill. So this, they've kicked it up here to get their fill here right into the golden zone. So where's that algo target? Right down here. Well, this is kind of interesting. Look how this lines up. So we have a number of things. So we have the structural. Let me, yeah, you got to get these right on there. Let me get this right on it because this actually does matter. Okay, so let's get that tightened up as we bring this over. All right, so if, the, if we're coming down here, if this algo is going to get its target, Right, so from here, that target is down here at this, this green line, which happens to be right in line with this structural resistance point here, which we have labeled as our, as our one wave down to our two. So you have a, a potential setup here. Now, this, how does that affect the median line? Well, I've got <clears throat> original on there. I might, you know, I might, I'm, we, so one thing we do, we could go to the one and a half, see how we hold that. That's, that's probably the first thing I would do is we've not gone so far beyond it, I'd be looking for modifiers. So if this algo is gonna get its target here, well, then we're just coming down here, we're gonna be right between the 50 and the 618. It leads you more to, to be leaning towards this as a two rather than a four. All right, so if we're gonna come down, so again, it would not be relative. If we, if we, if we take out this wick high, it's not relative because now we'd be looking at this as a two. So we're looking at the longer term count, anticipating that my three, if that's, so I'm, I'm trading, trading it as a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Here's my target now for my third, right? Relative to if we get entry here, here's my target. So that, that's supportive and stays in alignment with this market's geometry. So if I can get one, two, one, two, here's my negative 100, which will be very close to my one, six, one, eight, right? I've shown this many times. So if we, if we if we just measure that length of that one now I'm hypothetical here if I go down here to this to this target here we can see how up above now I've got the the 1618 and the negative 100 are right on top of each other so there's a reasonable target if we come down here pivot get our reaction so we'd be looking for a reaction off of the, an algorithm taking profit there in addition to the structural prior resistance potentially there for some support, and then we're right between the 50 and the 618, and the Vegas wave just to boot. So you've got a lot of things suggesting that you have the setup in place for a technical pivot to come in down here, where we have this nice confluence. Now, does that mean we're going up here? Well, no, we can't, we can't count on that, but that's a probability zone that we can at least project. So along the way, we've got you know, logical spots here. So here's the first one. So and often what you'll see here, if we're going to stay with this, we'll get up here, we'll get our algo target, and that can be the first retrace that sets up for the next kick, which goes toward, you know, now we're putting together a roadmap to get up towards our third up here. Right, so first we, we see what happens here. Does this does the 50 hold? Are we coming down here to this algo, right? So just because the algo sold it there doesn't mean they get their target because it's fighting. If you, if you really look in here, it's two algos fighting it out. All right, so you've got the algo that sold it here. You've got the algo that bought it here. Who wins? Well, we don't know. We don't, we don't know just yet. Well, wait and see, right? So these guys looking for this, this guy bought it here, but they will defend. Now take note of this. They will continue to be buyers right down to the 618. Right, because there is no consideration of, oh, I don't know, that's going kind of deep for my, is this is going to be a third or a fourth. No, it just swings, just swings. So I've got a potential reaction here, but this could, it, it could, right? We've got a, an algorithm that'll be defending it all the way down to the 618. So it's kind of a wait and see what you get there here. So right now, this is the dominant pivot. This is the, the trend is higher. Short-term trend is lower, but in terms of our structure and, and where we're, how we're trading this, we're on the assumption that if, if nothing else, we've got a one-two. And now we're trying to figure out where we are in the next set of swings. So it's potentially set up as a, I've got a good one, a good two, potentially now a, my next one coming in. Here's my zone for my, for my setup for my next two, right? So can we come down here? So this is a very reasonable place to be looking for entry. You'd have a minimum target up here. So if we, let's just we'll work off the algo. 
So if we get that algo target, so first target up here is the, is the algo target right here, which would be in conjunction with returning to the median line, a return to the mean. So if you gave that maximum room and just stop, we're just under the 65, what do we get here? So now you've got eight to one. Now that, now keep, keep in mind now, that's eight to one on the assumption that we aren't going up to these algo targets, right? So if, if we're gonna go catch a third here, well now we're talking 15.6 to one. You know, as I like to say, I mean, is that, is that worth keeping your eyes on that, right? We know this is a strong project. A lot, a lot of news, a lot of, a lot of fuel potentially there to drive this up to that count. Again, it's just potential, it's just potential up there. But that's a reasonable count, and here's a reasonable map as to how we would get there. So we shall see, but that's certainly one to be watching. So if we're going to come down here and revisit this, this 50, I would certainly want to alert that. I want to know, all right, so if I'm not watching this, I'm going to add an alert for a, a, a retest of the 50. So I want to see if we get a reaction there. And if we get that alert, you know, are we going through? Are we going down to this algo target? I, I like. I actually kind of hope that it does because it confirms and it. Well, it's not confirms. It firms up the idea that this is a one-two. That we've got one-two, one-two. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this pivot holds it. So that would be right coming to it, and that would set us up as a one-two. And then the anticipation is that we're going into potentially now an, the, another one-two. Right, is that's potentially now the one, two of the third. We don't know. We don't know. I mean, it could be all the way over here. We don't know when it gets there or if it gets there. But the, the, the possibility is there. So if you can get this entry here with that little bit of risk for this as a first target, this as a second, again, why would you not take that trade? Right? Why, why would you why would you avoid it? Unless, unless you're just you're bearish on, on Verge and you don't like the technical setup here, I, I certainly wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't be selling it there, right? If you were going to be a seller, here was your sell at the golden zone, right? You had had a little target and may, come, may damn well come down there and hit that. But so if you're bearish, how, how do you approach that if you're bearish, right? So the, the assumption would have to be that this is A, B, C, and that we're, we're just starting now, are, are working our way lower. So the, the, whole, the whole premise would be that that's just A, B, C, and we're going to go into some sort of a one wave, and then we're going to retrace back to a two, and then we're going to head back down, and then Verge is going to, you know, where are we going? Zero. So, I, you know... I, you know, I mean, trading, you know, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that this is a slam dunk, a guaranteed winner, but, I, you know, that's a very strong contender for a trade to be at least considering for a portion of your portfolio, right? The risk reward, very favorable. The, the, if, you're, if, if this analysis is wrong and Verge is going down, you're going to know very quickly. Not a lot of reasons not to take that trade, unless you're just a, a, a raging crypto bear, or in particular, a, a verge bear. Otherwise, tee it up, take the trade. All right, guys.